Okay, everyone, Malik is already out and making her way, hopefully, to the ostrich egg. Not much bigger than female, so she's wandering over to the other side now, so you'll get to see her if you're on the other side of the glass fronted exhibit. But we have put out some enrichment bones as well for her to gnaw on. So if you're looking at Malik, so basically we make, weigh Malik every day at the moment and today she weighed 97 kg. If you compare that to Barani's weight, being a much bigger male, he weighed 135 kg this morning. So yeah, as a general rule, male is much bigger. On saying that though, these guys are Sumatran tiger, which of the six remaining subspecies of tiger are actually the smallest of the subspecies. So if you compare them to the largest sub, uh, subspecies of tiger, and in fact the largest cat species in the world, the Siberian tiger, their males can come in at about 250 to 300 pounds. So pretty much double the size of Barani, a rather hefty male. Now the reason for this size difference is basically all to do with the climate in which they live. So all six subspecies of tiger are basically forest dwelling animals, but whereas you'll find the Siberian tiger in very cold, snowy forests, you'll find the Sumatran tiger in very hot, humid forests. So the Sumatran tiger basically needs all that extra fur and all that extra muscle to try and keep themselves warm. Whereas in Sumatra, it's so, so hot. These tigers don't want all that extra fluff, all that extra meat on them, basically weighing them down. So that's why they're nice and light. And in fact, quite unusually for cats, these tigers do actually love water. They walk completely silently through the forest looking for their prey. Their stripes actually create a dappled effect. So when they're walking through the bush, even though you'd think them being orange and black, Oh, just a oh, no. in the bushes, so 